Hi everybody. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to sketch functions. Now, we probably have some idea how to, ske how to sketch a straight line and a quadratic and maybe even a cubic function, but they can ask you to sketch any function at all, provided you have your calculator. So look at this example here. I don't actually know what that looks like. I don't have a clue, um, but I do have a calculator and I can just type it into the calculator, see what comes up there and then bring it from my calculator across into this. Now that sounds, that sounds easy and it actually should be straightforward. However, students always, always, always lose marks on this question because they're not accurate enough. The examiner is very precise in what they want. So you as a student has to be very precise in what you give them. The main things they are looking for are the, the, in the x and y intercepts where it crosses the x and y axis the shape of the curve and the endpoints now what i mean by endpoints is and this is very important it says x goes from 0 to 6 so it's only this from 0 to 6 that means you cannot draw anything to the left of 0 or anything to the right of 6 if you draw like if it, if the graph starts at 0 0 and goes like this you will lose, um, immediately lose a mark here because you've gone to the left of zero, zero. So just be very, very careful. Okay, let's try and sketch it. So I'm gonna press tab here. I am going to use this function here. I'm gonna go with five x squared minus three divided by e to the x. So I'll use this e to the x. Don't. If you don't use this e because it won't give you the right this is a special e Euler's constant um, press enter and I get this now the first thing I'll say is I don't really like the the fitting of the zoom here so let me just show you how to how to move around the zoom function so here I have menu window zoom and I have quite a few things here let's just go through um, one or two of them so I can zoom in and out, obviously that's fine. I can go to quadrant one. The ones I like are the, the fit one. So sometimes if I press zoom fit, it'll fit nicely to how I want it to look. Now that, that's definitely not something I want. That doesn't show, that, that's not useful for where he wants me to sketch it. But sometimes I, that's normally my first, the first button I'll press just to see if I get a nice zoom. Um, another one, let's click, is standard. So if I click standard, it'll go back to the original one. That's the kind of standard, standard zoom. Um, another one that I like is this box one. So I can click a corner and then make a box and it'll zoom to exactly the way I want it to be. But when I'm sketching, I usually use the window, the window settings one here. And I think it's a nice idea to put in whatever they give you. So here they, they're going from negative two to seven. So I'm gonna go from negative two to seven. Even though I won't be sketching anything over to the left of zero, it's still nice to just kind of line up the two. So negative two to seven, and this I'll go from negative four to four. Press enter, and I get this. Okay, so I need to convert this into this. What are the key points? What did I say? I need the intercepts. I need the shape of the curve and I need the endpoints and any maximums or minimums or maxima or minima. So what what a, a function I really, really like is this menu trace function. So if you click trace, graph trace, and you can move this along and you get all the different points that you want. So let's start with the Y intercept. The y-intercept, it tells me, I stopped there, it actually says y-intercept is zero minus three. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually draw a point at zero minus three. Then I'm gonna move this along. And it tells me there's a zero, it actually said zero. Even though this funny looking thing comes up, that's actually, that is zero. That's your calculator trying to deal with it. deal with a really small number. So that's a tiny, tiny number, but it's basically zero. And it says 0 0.775. So 
How accurate do I need to be? Well, obviously it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate because I, I can't even do that here. It just has to be within a kind of a range. Normally the examiner will say anything in between there, and they'll actually draw a circle and say if they have it in, if they have their point in there, then it's fine. So I'm going to put it 0 0.775. It'll be over here somewhere, about three quarters of the way through. Then let's keep moving, and I get a maximum 2.26 2.35 so 2.26 somewhere here 2.35 somewhere here about there that's going to be the maximum and then finally now you could say well what about this minimum mr flynn well remember i'm not going to draw anything to the left of zero so i'm not going to draw that or any of this so ignore that bit and then I just want to find out what it is at six. So I can move down here. Now look, be careful, the, be careful of the shape. It's going to go up and then down. And then there's kind of this point of inflection here where it kind of comes back around. So just be, just be a little bit careful there. The six, if I keep moving along, I get to six and it is six, 0 0.439. Another way to do that is when you're in this kind of trace, trace mode and you're moving along, I can actually just press the number six. If you press the number six and enter, it'll bring it to six zero point four three nine straight away. So it's six zero point four three nine. Zero point four three nine will be just below halfway there. So now I need to go up, max out here, and then some bit of a point of inflection to there. So I'm gonna go up. No, that's not good enough. That's actually sometimes I think it's it, it helps if you draw the dots first. Like this. There you go. And then you can kind of just join them. It's just a sketch, so it really doesn't have to be perfect. There. So do do join them up just to make sure there's no gaps okay and that's my sketch of the function now you can it, it didn't specifically say to put in the points sometimes it does i think it's actually nice to put them in anyway so this is zero negative three this is um well let's actually go back and find out what these points were this one is 2.3, 2.35. So that's 2.3, 2.35. Sorry, it was 2.26. I thought that was a bit strange. 2.26, 2.35. And then the zero was at 0 0.775. So that's zero. 0 0.7750 and the 6 plus 6 six zero point four three nine. okay and that's how you sketch it that's how you sketch a function <coughs> use your calculator you can be asked to sketch any kind of function that looks well, can look like anything but just make sure you you focus on where the intercepts are where the maxima and minima are, and very importantly, the most common mistake are the endpoints. So you have to stop at zero and six if it says zero and six. So you gotta look at the domain of the function.